This is my latest acquisition. It's a Fleischmann 120 stroke one. Uh, my first Fleischmann. Some people are a bit surprised at that. That's the way it's happened. Uh, I was rather taken by the nice, neat, small size. Um, I've replaced the uh, safety valve and the bush that it screws into, or at least the bush that it screws into, the safety valve was missing. Apart from that, it's all as I acquired it. Oh, apart from tightening up the uh, handle on the whistle, which was a bit loose. The burner tray is not the original one, it's a homemade one. Not made by me, but by some the previous owner. I don't even know if it's the same type as it was originally supplied with. I've run this air, this uh, engine on compressed air, so I know that it's not totally knackered. But this is the first time I've run it on steam, so uh, we'll see how well it works. The safety valve I've fitted, incidentally, is uh, a Walesco one, a standard Walesco non-plated brass safety valve. Um, if I can get hold of a Leishman one at some time in the future, I'll replace it, but if it's the same thread. But uh, the Walesco one will do fine for the moment. The base has been repainted, I'm told it's not the original colours, although it, I think it's uh, typical Fleischmann colours, but uh, not what this, the original that this model would have been. Um, the Fleischmann name has been painted over. Um, what it has at the moment is a label which says Wilfried Boyka Motorun und Luftpresser Schwitten. Now, I'm guessing that that is uh, a retailer or a company who, who owned it or something. Motoren und Luftpresser sounds like a company. Cars and air 
compressors. Schwitten may be a town, I don't know. There yet. There we go. So it does run on steam. You can see the uh, rather poor repaint job on the base here. I'm still undecided whether to uh, repaint it or not myself. I'll probably leave it as it is. the Valesco safety valve and the whistle seems to be uh, weeping just a little bit but uh, nothing, nothing too bad.